now we are moving to the second part of the session that is the referencing under references i am going to discuss about the five basic terms the referencing styles reference management software what is the need of it and how we are going to do it and at the end we are going to have a mainly demonstration number 1 is the terms so reference so what is mean by reference or referencing it is the method of demonstration so it is the method to uh, demonstrate your readers that you have conducted a thorough and appropriate literature search so it is a method of demonstration that you have referred many articles before writing so that is called as referencing and what is mean by a citation it is in the form of number so citation is the form of number or the text that correlates or relates with the source of the reference list the source which is present in the reference list so that particular point or that number or the text is called as the citation the, for example here uh, this is the citation so you call this as a citation and this method of demonstration is called as referencing now the reference list is the list that is containing the details only of those works which is cited in the text entries in the same order that they have been cited so only in those orders why i have mentioned only will be answered in the next slide so what is mean by reference slide is the list of uh, references containing the details which are only cited in the text so which are not cited in the text is called as bibliography a bibliography list sources which are not cited in the text but are relevant to your subject and were used for the background reading so these are all called as uh, bibliography so now you have understood about what is mean by referencing what is mean by citation what is mean by reference list what is mean by bibliography and this should be arranged alphabetically by author or title and the last important term which uh, in relation to the referencing is plagiarism what is mean by plagiarism plagiarism in latin means it is to kidnap which means to steal to steal somebody's ideas language content words without acknowledging the source that is called as plagiarism so scientifically if you acknowledge the source it may, may not be called as a plagiarism but it is actually a double edged sword that you need to have a wide review of literature at the same time you should not have a plagiarism also so it is always a double edged sword so basically why we get caught in plagiarism is when we are doing a thorough review of literature taking it to our context we will just do the cut copy paste and place it in our place uh, in our uh, research so that cannot be done because the words the language everything will be applicable for uh, plagiarism so you need to modify accordingly for your own specific uh, context so that needs to be done that modification without that is called as plagiarism and even when you are not citing the source that is also will be called as plagiarism that, that is the close paraphrasing of another person ideas whether it is intentionally done or unknowingly done by simply changing a few words altering the order of presentation is called as plagiarism and also when there is no acknowledgement of the source it is called as plagiarism now we will go a little bit about plagiarism before we go into the proper referencing so what are the types of the plagiarism many people think if you do cut copy paste that is only plagiarism actually cut copy paste is a plagiarism type there are various types you can have a complete plagiarism what is mean by complete plagiarism this is an article of mine so if you remove uh, the author institution and just prepare a new manuscript with the same content that is called as a complete plagiarism uh, which none of us nowadays uh, will do but uh, there is a verbatim pl plagiarism that is a single paragraph or a pa group of sentences will be uh, plagiarized that is called as verbatim plagiarism or paraphrasing plagiarism as i mentioned uh, we will change here and there some words and then we will put it into the um, our own manuscript that is called as paraphrasing plagiarism uh, we have mosaic plagiarism and self plagiarism and incorrect citation all these come under plagiarism which Uh, we are not going in deep into the topics i am just mentioning it just uh, make you understand that these are all different types of plagiarism available now we should understand what are all the consequences of the plagiarism the consequences of the plagiarism depends ultimately on the type of plagiarism and amount of plagiarism and also the institutional regulations and the legislations of the country 
so that needs to be uh, kept in mind so you will lose your job you will lose your profession when you do plagiarism and there are uh, there are many cases uh, for example there is a case from pgi chandigarh that an article has been plagiarized the case is going on in court so and also this journals will make uh, will not remove your uh, journal after some time if they find it as a, a plagiarized article they will have a concept of retraction that is the article will be available in the journal and it will be mentioned as retracted here that means the journal the article has been removed for this reason because this author has plagiarized so this will be uh, there forever and uh, you cannot get out of that crime or you will be defamed forever so these are all uh, consequences of the plagiarism and uh, how we are going to avoid this plagiarism is uh, first of all we need to understand it's not a crime uh, it's a error usually to be avoided whenever you do a thorough review of literature there will be plagiarism because the softwares they match the words and match the order of the words so uh, they will ultimately find here and there some plagiarized uh, uh, content but they will give a limit Uh, say for example 10% of plagiarism is allowed or 20% of plagiarism is allowed so to that level we can use the uh, words and uh, the matching of the words can be present so that is allowed so it is not an, a crime but it is an error to be avoided or minimized so that we need to uh, understand then you need to have a paraphrasing proper proper paraphrasing that you need to you know, change the sentences in your own context not for uh, escaping from plagiarism alone but you need to change for your own context that is very important not for escaping from plagiarism then we need to use our own words in between not uh, to take uh, others words uh, the, that is very important then we need to cite everything whenever we have taken a content from any uh, review of literature we need to have a citation for that coming back to our original discussion of referencing why do we need reference first of all we need to give the credit to the other authors that is person has done the research and you have taken the reference of that uh, research then you need to credit that person so that is that is the prime objective of the referencing then it will help to find the original sources of research then it will make your work more informative recognition and authentication of your own work then to address plagiarism for all these things you need referencing now what are what can be a reference so, uh, that is the sources of information what can be a reference usually books and journals are the common references followed by a newspaper and magazine can be a reference conference papers proceedings can be a reference annual reports of uh, many institutions can be a reference then uh, publications of any institution standard institution and governments can be a reference then electronic sources commonly website uh, databases can be your references when you mention this source of references the authenticity will be high for this books and journals and finally your thesis reports and unpublished works can be a reference so what are to be present in reference list so first you need to have author's name then you need to have the date of the publication title of the document or publication edition to be there periodicity of the journal or the book should be there that is volume issue and part number will be there series page numbers and should be present so all these details should be present by looking at this we may be surprised to see how i am going to enter all this data how i am going to feed on this data and make uh, in our manuscript it is going to be very challenging that is why we are going to have the referencing softwares how much ever complicated this work has been made very 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 simple uh, for us using this uh, referencing uh, softwares uh, again uh, this is how a journal reference should be we should have the author's name here then we should have the year of publication here then we should have the art title of the article then we should have the journal here then we should have the volume here uh, and uh, you should have the uh, issue and page number and most importantly this comma full stop and all is very important for referencing and how this full stop comma order changes based on the styles of the references this order also there will be changes but basically the reference uh, contains uh, these 
details essentially punctuation marks and spaces are very important that is specific to the reference style which you look for so when multiple references are cited use hyphen to join the first and last numbers that are inclusive like here how multiple references are used hyphen uh, and we are using comma for the some other numbers use commas without space to separate non inclusive references so do not use hyphen for immediate numbers so you have to mention it as 1 comma 2 not 1 to 2 so then referencing style so we have uh, many reference styles the most commonly used reference style is van poe style for your university this is most commonly universities uh, medical universities in india uses this van poe style of referencing followed by harvard styling which is uh, used for many of the publications in the western side followed by chicago manual style american medical association style or ama style american psychologist association apa style which is commonly used in education side psychology side and so uh, sciences side uh, mla style modern language association which is used in humanities chicago or durban styles is used in business and history then we should know which style and format to use most commonly the journals are now asking for ijcmje recommendations so that is the most commonly asked format in journals but for your thesis uh, most commonly medical universities in india ask for van cover styling so whatever the style may be the reference styles can be class classified into author date style that is or the numerical style most commonly in our references we will have the numerical order 1 2 3 4 5 like that Uh, that is called as that, that called as numerical style and van cover style is one among them whereas harvard style is uh, the author et al and the year will be followed by that uh, in order so that is called as the uh, author date style and harvard style is one among them so author date format is the harvard style it cite your sources within your text by giving the author's surname year of publication and page numbers So here are the examples. It will be written as Johnson et al. 2004, James and Peter 2003. So uh, this kind of uh, referencing is called as our styling. Now we are going to the reference management software. We are going to look at what is the basic function of this reference management software. Basically, it collect, download, and store all the references. It include the necessary details about the citations which we are mentioning in our research. Then automatically we can insert the reference. into the article while we are typing and we can collect the reference list also the two important function of this reference software is going to be changing the reference order hassle free which means the more, most importantly thesis may contain 100 references so if your guide ask you to remove the 40th reference you need to work on the next 60 references you need to push all those references uh, put in lots of time for that but reference software does this job uh, very hassle free then also for example you have prepared your document in van cover the journal may ask for some other different styles so for, for that you need to have a single click and change the reference so your job is done so reference management software are going to make your work very easy i'm going to demonstrate that here so these are all the different management tools available there is no such thing as a best reference manager you have to find a best reference manager for you the idea of using the reference manager itself is a best thing to do in research so here is uh, the two commonly used freely available reference management software menly and zotero here is a comparison Uh, why i go for menly is because it's user friendly up to 2, 2 gb you can use and uh, Uh, you can have a freely searchable online library available a uh, good tool for adding pdfs and we have uh, the, the limited private groups and actually the screen reader is not good it is not good in mainly but uh, in zotero on the contrast the advantages are many uh, same way when you are using google docs uh, instead of microsoft word you are using google docs only zotero is available there so you need to jump on to zotero if you are using uh, google docs Okay, now we are going to the mainly demo. So I am going to demonstrate this demo. See the video first, then you can do the same process by pausing my video in between, and you can try. 
uh, if you have any difficulty you can uh, we can have a discussion about that and we will sort it out and we will definitely how to make mainly work in your computers then only your research is going to be very easy i would recommend mainly and zotero for referencing purposes in research and many in my channel many of the videos are on mainly and zotero you can check it out so what are all the steps in using mainly reference manager first you need to do the essential downloads there are three downloads number one is the reference manager software and number two is the web importer which is specific to your browser and the mainly site which is specific to your document writing software in this case i'm going to use microsoft word then the next is the signing in you need to create an lc ver account and you need to sign in then you need to import the references there are various way to import references into mainly in this presentation i'm going to show the five commonly used ways that is extracting a pdf importing via doi that is digital object identifier then direct importation through web importer then downloading the citation file then manual entry of data then after doing this we are going to see the working of the mainly that is how to incorporate reference and how to insert the bibliography and how to change the reference styles all these things i am going to show now so the first step is the essential downloads now i am going to check whether the all the essential downloads are done or not this is the new mainly reference manager this is how it looks so after the successful download and installation of mainly reference manager this page will appear like this now i have created a new collection that is mainly demo and that folder remains empty now so the first download as i said it's a mainly reference manager if you want for windows you can do or you want to use it for mac os that also you can download and install you can download mainly web importer also after successful download and installation of mainly web importer this icon that is the bright red mainly icon will appear here so you can confirm with this then if you open word after successful installation of this mainly site this icon will appear here when you click on this mainly site icon so if you are already signed in with mainly reference manager account then automatically this will load so we are all set for importing reference manager we have done three essential downloads that is mainly site for the document writing software that is microsoft word in this case mainly reference manager software itself and then the mainly web importer so all these three are the essential downloads and we have created an account in lcver mainly and we have signed in successfully so we are all set so now first i am going to show how to import data into mainly using pdf so here i am going to download this pdf so i am going to save this then i come back to mainly reference manager click on add new files from computer i click on the download pdf open then it will it is getting uploaded so this data will appear here so we, we can click on this and you can check whether the details are correct if the details are not correct then you can change if anything is missing also you can add so that is the first way you can use it through pdf then the next way is through the doi numbers that is when you are accessing any article then they have this digital object identifier doi number so you can copy this number come back to mainly add new add entry manually then in identifiers you can paste this doi and you can search for that doi then the global epidemiology of hypertension which is present here will automatically appear then you can check the details any missing details also you can add if you add this it will appear here then the next way is through the mainly web importer i want to import this reference i just click on this it will ask for sign in after successful sign in it will load so it will ask for the confirmation of the article in this article if there are some more references also so if you want to add it to your data you can add that also for the time being i'm going to add this to the mainly demo you can add directly to the mainly demo or to any of your old collections also in mainly desktop it was called as folder now in mainly reference manager it is collections so you can add this the good thing about mainly reference manager is it will get automatically synchronized so that has been already added here without synchronizing manually because in this new mainly reference manager this syn synchronizing is automatic we need not do synchronization as we do it in the old mendy desktop now the fifth way is through the downloading the citation file so when you are accessing most of the articles there will be one section called citation download or cite this article section so in this if you click on the download citation then that citation file will get downloaded and ensure that for mainly desktop manager it should be in dot ris format so if that is there then go to add new import library then click on this ris now click this open and that details also will get extracted okay now the fifth way i am going to show how are we going to add the data manually select this type of reference that is here i am choosing the journal article and title i am just typing something we can add authors also
So far, we have added five references in five different ways. That is one through PDF, next through DOI, and then through Mendeley Web Importer. Then the next one using the RIS format download. You can do the same with XML file and BIB file also. And this is the manual entry. Now how to operate in Word file. So now I am going to this Word file. I am typing some content. Here we need to click on this update from library so that the recently added references will appear. So all our recently added references will appear related to hypotension has appeared. If you place the cursor here, click on this as a reference, then click on insert citation. We are incorporating the next reference and he here we are not doing any reference and here we are incorporating two reference. For this, I am clicking the two references and clicking on like this. Here I am clicking the placing the cursor here and clicking the last references which we have included. Now the magic is going to happen. I want to add the bibliography here or the list of references here. Then I go here, click on this three icon, insert bibliography. It will ask whether bibliography need to be inserted at the cursor location. You click on yes, automatically the bibliography will appear. Now, if you want to change this reference, suppose you want to change this position, just copy this and paste here. Then automatically the reference numbers also will get altered and the position of the bibliography list also will get altered. That is one of the most important help we get from this reference manager. Next and the last is how to change the reference styles in new Mendeley desktop reference manager. So for this, we need to go to citation style settings, click on change citation style. So you want to change to any style available here, then you can click on this. There are some 8,000 citation styles available. You can click on the search for an another style and from there you can incorporate the available 8,000 styles. If you want a person style also. You can use this CSL editor and the videos for this has been put up separately. You can see that and for demonstration purpose, I am just clicking on this APA style. I am changing Vancouver, existing Vancouver style to APA style. So I click on the update style, then automatically the styling has been changed to APA style from Vancouver style. So this is how we can change the reference settings also when your guide or your journal or the university asks for change in the reference pattern or the reference style then you can change the reference style and you can use this mainly reference manager effectively to recap what we have seen in this presentation is we have ensured the essential downloads for mainly reference manager that is we need to have mainly reference manager web importer mainly site web importer is specific for your browser mainly site is specific for your document writing software microsoft word in this case then you need to create an account, sign in into Menly. Then you can import references by various means, out of which I have shown about PDF, DOI, web importer, citation file, and manual entry. Then working of the Menly also, how to incorporate the references, how to change the references, and how to change the reference styles, all has been shown in this presentation. If you like this video, please click on the like button, share it to your friends. Thanks for watching.